Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss one very important and conceptual problem from uh, definite integrals uh, involving fractional part function, right? So here uh, we have to solve this integral uh, that is from 0 to 1 and the integrand is e raised to uh, 2 times fractional part of x and then we have e raised to e, e raised to fractional part of x, right? So here I uh, will make use of the uh, definition of fractional part function uh, to uh, simplify this expression or this integral and then I uh, will apply uh, the method of integration by parts, right? So this integral uh, uh, can be solved uh, first by uh, using the definition of fractional part function and then by using uh, integration by parts, right? So let us start. So let us call this integral as uh, i, right? Now see, uh, here we have the fractional part of x. Now the definition of a fractional part of x, it goes like this. That is fractional part of x is x minus greatest integer of x, right? And we know that uh, the domain of uh, uh, fractional part function uh, is the set of all real numbers and the range is uh, uh, the interval that is 0 to 1, right? So it implies that the fractional part function x, it lies between uh, 0 and 1, including 0. Right? And see, here we have uh, the limits from 0 to 1. So the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is 1. So x, it lies between uh, 0 and uh, 1. Right? Now when x lies between 0 and 1, uh, then uh, we know that the greatest integer of x uh, is equal to 0. Right? So when x uh, lies between 0 and 1, the greatest integer of x is 0. So this is an important step here, right? So the fractional part of x, it becomes uh, x minus 0, right? Because the greatest integer of x is 0, because x lies between 0 and 1. So we can write fractional part of x is simply equal to x, right? So now our integral i it becomes uh, 0 to 1 and we have e raised to 2x because fractional part of x can be replaced by x, right? And here we have e raised to e raised to x and dx, right? Now, uh, let us uh, uh, apply the method of uh, substitution here. So, we'll uh, take, uh, say, u is equal to uh, e raised to x. Right? So we'll substitute u is equal to e raised to x. So du over dx is equal to e raised to x. So this implies uh, du over uh, dx is equal to u, which further implies du over u is equal to dx. Right? Now see, uh, let us uh, change the limits here. So when x is equal to 0, then the value of u is e raised to 0. Uh, here we'll take x is equal to 0. So this is 1. And when x is equal to 1, then u is equal to e raised to 1, that is e, right? So now the integral i is from 1 to e is the exponential number. And e raised to 2x uh, is equal to u square. And here we have e raised to u because e raised to x is u and dx can be replaced by uh, du over u, right? So now we can write this integral i as 1 to e and this u and this u get cancelled. So we are left with u times e raised to u uh, du, right? So now we have this integral uh, 1 to e u e raised to u du. Now see here we have the product of two functions, right? So we can uh, consider here uh, u as the first function and e raised to u as the second function, right? And we'll apply uh, the method of parts here. So the uh, 
formula for a method of parts it goes like this if we have two functions f and g of x that is f and g are functions of x and if we consider f as first function and g as second function then we can write the uh, formula for integration by parts as f then we have g dx that is integral of g then we have integral of the derivative of f and then here we have the integral of g and then we have the whole uh, integral with respect to x right so here we have the variable u and we can take f as u and g as e raised to u right so i is uh, we can write uh, the expression with the help of this result so we have u then integral of e raised to u du and minus then we have integral and the derivative of f that is u with respect to u and then we have g that is e raised to u du and then the whole integral with respect to u right and uh, first we'll find out the indefinite integral of uh, this uh, function that is u e raised to u and then uh, we'll take the limits right so here we have u integral of e raised to u is e raised to u and here we have uh, uh, the du over du is 1 integral of e raised to u is e raised to u and then we have du right so this is u e raised to u minus and the integral of e raised to u is e raised to u right so if we uh, take i1 as the indefinite integral of uh, u e raised to u then i is equal to i1 uh, taking the limits 1 to e right so we have u e raised to u minus e raised to u and 1 to e right so first we'll uh, here substitute uh, u is equal to e so we have e times e raised to e minus e raised to e and then we have uh, 1 here so we have 1 times e raised to 1 minus e raised to 1 right so this is e times e raised to 1 so this is e times e raised to e minus e raised to e and here we have e minus 1 uh, e minus e that is equal to 0 right so this is e raised to e we can take e raised to e common so this is e minus 1 right so the value of this integral i is e raised to e times e minus a 1 right